This is the 27th floor, room 008. Here are the key cards. And you're in. There's nothing to slide. Now, as soon as you walk in, you have the do not disturb sign here, so it's not paper, it's actually electronic. You have a nice mirror here. There's no warping. It's solid, you can see. So right before you leave, you can see what you look like. There's an air vent up there, solid wood. The walls are wallpaper, not paint, which is always nice. The flooring over here, it seems like it's either marble or granite. You can see the luxurious marble slash stone over here. So as soon as you walk in, you're going to get your kitchen. It's very small. It's kind of eat in if you want to bring that table here. But in here you have a wet bar. I don't want to open it up because I know I got to pay money for that. This is a hot plate area. And if I put something here, it'll start cooking it or boiling it. It's a full size microwave. You know, you bring something from outside, you want to heat it up. The option is there. It's just a nice feature. You bought a slice of pizza yesterday, you want to heat it up. You know, who's coming over here? A lot of college kids. You have a deep sink. Inside of the sink, there's also a garbage disposal, which is turned on by pressing this switch. Lots of space if you want to cut fruits and vegetables. You have more storage space if you want to store anything. There's your garbage can. Here, you have cutlery drawers spoons forks and knives it's empty right now and again more storage area up here we have more storage area i just put list listerine up there i just wanted to hide it i want to show you the room as it's stock again more storage area up here so if you're staying here for a week or so and you like to eat at home you want to cook your own stuff you can bring your own utensils and so on i think you can ask downstairs I don't know how that works. So this is your kitchen as soon as you walk in. When you come in over here, this room, this is obviously the main living area, the living room slash bedroom. As soon as you walk in, you have your table here. This is supposed to be the dining table. It could also be a poker table for your buddies if you're in college. Uh, you could sit down and do business here, just casual business. And of course, you can have your kids over here, um, they want to play a board game like Monopoly and so on. There's only so much kids can do. Another option is you can bring your Nintendo like I did if you have your nephews and niece visiting, which I do. Uh, you can bring some video games because everything hooks up to this TV through a connectivity panel in here. Ah, just open this up. Right here we have a connectivity panel. Right here you can see the connectivity panel, iPod, iPhone, HDMI, composite S video, there's power cable. Again, more storage if you actually need storage. And down here we have, once again, more storage if you bring a lot of stuff like clothing. People do travel with families and kids and you don't want to mess, so you organize everything. Again, we have more storage space right there. So um, that basically does it for the TV, the game stuff. Right behind me there is a full closet it's a very tall closet I like the fact that it has high ceilings it's probably about 10 foot ceilings here here's the closet it's lit which is very nice at night I have daylight right now but if it was dark you can see everything there are no robes in this closet but it says robes are available by request so you can get them you have some nice hangers here this is nice it's soft so it doesn't leave an impression on your jacket or your shirt and you have more storage space up here. Bunch of hangers, if you have business shirts, you have your full ironing board and you have your iron. So if you have a business meeting, you're ready to go. I have no idea what this is for, but they have it. So if you know what it's for and you need it, you got it. Oh yeah, another thing, there is a safe right here, a digital safe. So if you have a business meeting, you're ready to go. Now, here we have our bed. There's a nice uh, lamp over here on either side. Right above the pillow, you have a night side reading lamp that you turn on just by here. So that's very nice if you want to read a book at night, right there, built into the bed. That's for his and that's for hers. Back there was just a buddy slash poker table desk or for your kids to play a game of Monopoly. Here's where you can work. You have some business to take care of, all right? You can make phone calls, some drawer, I don't know. You have your notebook, a very nice modern style lamp. 
incredible. Some nice artwork, green. Everything is black and white slash chocolate, but the green makes it really nice. Right here you have a couch. You have two lamps on either side. What I would do is pick up this couch, which is what I'm going to do, flip it this way so I can have this view at night, and you can have a drink or two with your buddy, or if you're with your wife, you just hang out with her, just check out the fountains right behind me, the Bellagio fountains. Here is a very nice wide angle view. That is Bellagio by the way, that hotel right there. That is the Bellagio fountains right there. You can see there's a lot of space here, adequately fit a lot of people in. Okay, now let me show you the bathroom. Glass slash wood paneled. It's actually glass paneled, but glass and wood. Sliding door. Here again we have either granite or marble. And right here is another full wall mirror. This is an opening closet as soon as you walk into the bathroom. Right here you have hangar space, you can hang things, more storage up there. What I love about this bathroom is the tub, it's a huge tub. It's a deep tub as well, that's really deep. Right here you have your towels, towel rack. You have the scale, glass scale, very nice. And you have a stand up slash sit down shower, two new towels, his and hers. The bath mat is on the back. And right there you can sit down while you're in the shower. There is the shower. Take you in. The daughter toiletries. There's the shower head. And right in front of the bathroom, you I mean the shower, you have your toilet. Unlike Aria, there is no glass door for privacy when you're in the toilet. Again, the very nice wallpaper. There is a phone right by the toilet if you need something. Here's your vanity counter. Sink, modern style. Your tissue paper and of course your articulating makeup mirror. And it is lit. So you can turn it on and off. I like the soap that they give you. It looks like a pill container, but it's just uh, soap. Nothing on down here. That's nice. I hate when the stupid sink gets in your way. And this is the entire vanity. So that does it for the bathroom. the Vidara pool. It's about 9.50 a.m. April 13, 2012. It's a Friday morning. It's very windy here and that makes it much more colder than it is. And that basically sums up the review of the hotel room of Vidara. This is the view from the room at night and all the lights are off. There are the Bellagio fountains running every half an hour. And we closed the video with the 1980s VCR blinking light. It was like that when I came in. The time is correct, but it keeps blinking.